The historical mindful movement will share historical information that happened on the same date and month from year to year. This is so that the history we learn can make us appreciate the past and trigger us to do better in the future. Historical Mindful Movement begs not to click the like and subscribe buttons on this channel. On this occasion, the History Mindful Movement will review the history that happened on July 10th from time to time. On July 10, 1553, Lady Jane Grey ascended the throne in the United Kingdom of Great Britain. De facto ruled England and Ireland until July 19, 1553. Therefore, she is known as the Nine Days Queen. This is the queen with the shortest tenure in the world. On July 10, 1851, Louis Jacques Man Daguerre died at the age of 63. He is a photographer and physicist who is known as one of the two inventors of the Daguerreotype. The Daguerreotype method was created for the first time by two friends, namely Louis Jacques Man Daguerre and Joseph Nisiforms in France in 1834. Daguerreotype is an image, produced from a copper plate with a thin silver layer, previously sensitive to light with iodine vapor to form silver iodide crystals on the plate's surface. The plate is then ignited with steamed mercury. The exposure strength is then reduced with bromine to form silver bromide crystals. On January 9, 1839, the French Academy of Sciences published the world's first photographic process. It is used as the day that photography was invented. One of the images resulting from the daguerreotype process, at the beginning of its appearance. On July 10, 1893, Daniel Hale Williams successfully performed the first successful pericardial surgery without the help of blood transfusion, and antibiotics in the United States to repair a tear in the pericardium. Williams repaired a torn pericardium from a patient named James Cornish. A tear in the pericardium due to a knife stab between the left fifth rib. Williams performed this operation at Provident Hospital Chicago. About 50 days after the operation, Cornish left the hospital. Cornish survived about 20 years later. This made Williams the first African-American to successfully perform pericardial surgery to repair a wound. Similar but not the same, the first successful surgical repair of pericardial wounds was performed by Henry Dalton two years earlier. The difference lies in Henry Clay Dalton, being a Native American, while Williams is an African American. For this achievement, Williams received a charter from the American College of Surgeons and is the only African American doctor to receive the award. Respect for Williams' achievements also came from Stevie Wonder through his song Black Man which was released in 1976. Stevie Wonder is the most popular visually impaired musician in the world. In 2002, scholar Malefi Keat Asante included Daniel Hale Williams on his list of the 100 greatest African Americans in history. On July 10, 1925, the start of a unique legal case known as the Scopes Trial. This legal case happened to a high school teacher, namely John Thomas Scopes. He did not teach the theory of human evolution in violation of the Butler Act. The Butler Act is a law introduced by Tennessee House of Representatives member John Washington Butler. The law stipulates the teaching of human evolution in every state-funded school. On July 10, 1938, Howard Robert Hughes Jr. along with four other crew members embarked on a round-the-world flight. In the end, the flight managed to break a new record in the world of aviation. 
They took off from Floyd Bennett Field Airport in New York on a Lockheed Super Electra Model 14 aircraft. His plane is one of the most modern aircraft of its time. The aircraft has nine-cylinder two engines, each capable of producing the equivalent of 760 horsepower. The total distance they covered was 23,612 kilometers, which was covered in 91 hours. Their flight route starts from New York, Paris, Moscow, Omsk, Yakutsk, Fairbanks, Minneapolis, and back to New York. The flight managed to beat the previous longest flight record held by Polish airline LOT. The distance they traveled at that time was 24,850 kilometers, which was covered in 85 hours on May 13, June 5, 1938 with an average speed of 292 kilometers per hour. Hughes's other achievement also occurred three years earlier. He managed to break the world aircraft speed record with an average speed of 567.12 km per hour. He achieved the record by using the H-1 racer aircraft. The speed record with the same plane was also achieved on January 19, 1937. At that time, Hughes set a new transcontinental speed record by flying non-stop from Los Angeles to New York City in 7 hours 28 minutes. He broke his own previous record of 9 hours 27 minutes. For his achievements, he was awarded several awards, namely Harmon Trophy, Collier Trophy, Congressional Gold Medal, and National Aviation Hall of Fame. Not only that, he was also selected in Flying Magazine's 2013 list of 51 aviation heroes at number 25th. Hughes first became famous as a film producer, and later rose to fame as an influential figure in the aviation industry. Later in life, he was known for his eccentric behavior and his reclusive lifestyle. Hughes' eccentric personality and lifestyle inspired Stan Lee to create the Iron Man character in Marvel Comics. In addition, Tony Stark father's first name is also taken from the first name of Howard Robard Hughes Jr. On July 10, 1942, an American pilot found a Mitsubishi A6 meters M, 0 Type 0 model, 21 which had made an emergency landing on Akutan Island in one piece. The fighter plane was later confiscated by the United States. This aircraft was later repaired and successfully flown again by United States test pilots in Second World War. Information from the test flight was used by AS combat tacticians to figure out how to defeat the fighter. The A6 meters M0 was the main fighter aircraft of the Imperial Japanese Navy in Second World War. On July 10, 1962, the world's first communications satellite was launched into Earth orbit in outer space. Telstar 1 was launched at Cape Canaveral LC-17 using a Thor Delta rocket with a launch mass of 77 kg. The launch of the Telstar satellite marks a new era in electronic communications as it successfully broadcast the world's first television broadcast from an Earth station in Andover across the Atlantic Ocean hours after Telstar 1 was successfully launched. Since then, humans have entered the era of communication satellites. On July 10, 1966, the Chicago Freedom Movement held a rally at Soldier Field, Chicago. The general meeting was attended by 60,000 people. This movement is the most ambitious civil rights campaign in the northern United States. The Chicago Freedom Movement was led by Martin Luther King Jr., James Luther Bevel and Albert Anderson Raby. The movement is largely credited with enacting the Civil Rights Act in 1968.
On July 10, 1973, the Bahamas became independent from the United Kingdom with Commonwealth status. The Bahamas is a country consisting of approximately 700 islands in the Caribbean region, which are included in the line of the Bermuda Triangle. The name Bahamas comes from the Spanish word, Baja Amar which means shallow sea water. The capital of the state of the Bahamas is Nassau. In the 18th century, Nassau became a popular haven for Caribbean pirates to keep their wealth. The Bahamas has a variety of marine beauty, such as the third largest barrier reef in the world which stretches for more than 306 kilometers. This barrier reef is called the Andros Great Barrier Reef. Another marine beauty owned by the state of the Bahamas is the Blue Hole, which is an underwater cave phenomenon connected by a tunnel to the open sea. Blue Hole in the state of the Bahamas is Waddling's Blue Hole and Dean's Blue Hole. Dean's Blue Hole is a blue hole, located in the Bahamas in the West Bay of Clarence Town on Long Island, Bahamas. The Blue Hole has a depth of 202 meters which is the second deepest Blue Hole in the world after the Dragon Hole in the South China Sea. Two flora that are iconic to the state of the Bahamas are, Yellow Trumpet Flower which is the national flower of the Bahamas, and Huayacan Tree which is the national tree of the Bahamas. While the two iconic fauna enshrined in the coat of arms of the state of the Bahamas are, Blue Marlin Fish which is the national fish of the state of the Bahamas, and the Flamingo which is the national bird of the Bahamas. In the world of music, the Bahamas has a worldwide music band, namely the Baha Men. They won a Grammy Award in 2000 in the dance, recording category for their song, Who Let the Dogs Out. In the field of international cinema, many films are set in the Bahamas, including Silence of the Lambs, Speed 2, Cruise Control, and Zeus and Roxanne. On July 10, 1978, 3rd John Davison Rockefeller died at the age of 72. He is a businessman and philanthropist who is best known as the founder of the Asia Society in 1956. The Asia Society is a non-profit organization that aims to build awareness about Asian politics, business, education, arts and culture through education. It encourages greater cooperation between Asia and the United States. On July 10, 1980, 52 years old Willie Jones was hospitalized for heat stroke with a temperature of 46.5 degrees Celsius. His life was saved after spending 24 days in hospital. For that event, Jones holds the Guinness Book of World Records for the world's highest body temperature ever recorded in history. On July 10, 1985, the Rainbow Warrior ship belonging to the environmental organization, Greenpeace was bombed by the French Secret Service DGSE. The bombardment of the ship had been pre-designed to render the ship unsalvageable. The incident killed Fernando Pereira, a Dutch freelance photographer from Portugal. The bombing of the ship was in retaliation for protests from Greenpeace against France's nuclear test at Mororoa. On July 10, 1985, there was a plane crash on Aeroflot Flight 7425. The Tupolev Tu-154B2 crashed near Ufkadak, Uzbekistan, which was then part of the Soviet Union. The investigation revealed that crew fatigue was a major factor in the crash. The incident killed all 200 people on board. The accident was listed as the worst airline disaster in the Soviet Union. On July 10, 1991, Boris Yeltsin began his duties as the first president of Russia. This made him the first directly elected president in Russian history. 
He resigned as president on December 31, 1999 as someone who was despised for bringing Russia into the great economic crisis in 1998. Some experts consider the economic crisis to be more severe than the Great Depression in Europe and America in the 1930s. On July 10, 1998, the Catholic Diocese of Dallas agreed to pay 23.4 million U.S. dollars to nine former altar boys who were sexually abused by Rudolf Edward Koss. Rudolf Edward Koss is a former Roman Catholic priest who was found guilty of sex crimes in the Diocese of Dallas, Texas, USA. He was sentenced to life in prison for the sexual harassment case. On July 10, 1999, USA won the final match of the 1999 FIFA Women's World Cup. In that match, USA managed to beat China in a penalty shootout with a final score of 5 versus 4. This victory is the second victory since 1991. The final match which was held at the Rose Bowl Pasadena USA was attended by 90,185 spectators. It set a new world record for the most attendance at a women's sporting event. This record lasted until the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup Final. The controversy in this match was when Brandy Shastain celebrated her winning penalty kick. At that time, she took off her shirt and revealed her sports bra. The photo of the celebration was published in several print media the next day, such as Sports Illustrated and Newsweek. The celebration was criticized for being considered impolite, unfeminine or inappropriate. Despite this, the celebratory photo remains as one of the most iconic moments in the history of women's sport. On July 10, 2000, EODS was founded. EODS is a major European aerospace company that builds commercial and military aircraft, space systems, propulsion systems, missiles and other defense products. EODS was formed from the merger of three leading European aerospace companies, namely Daimler Chrysler Aerospace of Germany, Construcciones Aeronauticas Thessa from Spain, and Aerospatial Matra from France. When measured by sales, EODS is the third largest aerospace company in the world after Boeing and Lockheed Martin. EODS holds an 80% stake in the Airbus Industry Consortium, and is responsible for the final assembly of Airbus aircraft. On July 10, 2007, Erdan Aruk embarked on a man-powered circumnavigation of the world from Bodega Bay, California, USA. He returned in the same place, five years later, namely on July 21, 2012. Not only climbing the trail, he also uses several other means of transportation, such as rowboat to cross the ocean, kayak to walk along the shoreline, bikes for road trips, and canoe for river crossing. With a route of 66,299 km, he managed to meet all the requirements to circumnavigate the real world, which has crossed two times the equator, all lines of longitude, and 12 pairs of antipodal points. His journey which lasted for 5 years 11 days 12 hours and 22 minutes, made Erdan Aruk officially recognized by Guinness World Records as the first person to circumnavigate the world alone using human power. In his journey around the world, Erdan Aruk also managed to create new records, such as the first person to row the three seas, the first rower to cross the Indian Ocean from Australia to mainland Africa in two segments, the longest rowing distance across the Atlantic Ocean. On July 10, 2008, Hiroaki Aoki or better known as Rocky Aoki died at the age of 69. He is an amateur wrestler and entrepreneur best known as the founder of Benihana.
Benihana is a Japanese restaurant chain based in Aventura, Florida. The company franchises 116 Japanese cuisine restaurants worldwide. On July 10, 2016, the closing ceremony of the 2016 UEFA Euro Cup was held at the Stade de France, Saint Denis, France. The final match was led by referee Mark Clattenburg. In the final match, Portugal managed to become champions after defeating France with a score of 1 vs 0 through extra time. That was Portugal's first title in the UEFA Euro Cup. The winning goal was scored by Ederzito Antonio Macedo Lopez in the 109th minute. During the 2016 UEFA Euro Cup, the official ball used was the Adidas Fracas. On July 10, 2018, one soccer team and one coach were rescued after being trapped from inside the Tham Luang cave for 17 days. They could not get out because the rainwater flooded the mouth of the cave. Rescue needs to be done as soon as possible, because waiting for the water to recede can take up to months. More than 1,000 people were involved in the rescue operation, including a team of Thai Navy SEAL experts and technical assistants, from various other countries. This rescue cost a member of the Thai Navy Special Forces who ran out of oxygen, when he was about to put oxygen cylinders along the flooded part of the cave. Knowing the difficult rescue terrain, a cave diving expert was brought in from England. The true story of this rescue is told in the film, The Cave, which was released on November 21, 2019. In the film, a cave dive expert from England and a doctor work together to evacuate the victims. They put the victim to sleep with ketamine injections so that during the dive, the victim does not panic and can save oxygen. The real events of the dramatic rescue are also narrated in several books, such as The Great Cave Rescue, and The Boys in the Cave. On July 10, 2020, Laura Victoria Van Ruijman died at the age of 27. She was a short track speed skater who died of an autoimmune disease after winning the 2020 European Short Track Speed Skating Championship six months earlier. The best achievements throughout her sports career are one gold medal at the World Championships for the 500 meters category gold medals at the European Championships for the 3000 meter relay category. Those are some historical collections that happened on July 10th from time to time. If there is a history that you just found out, please write it in the comments column. Thank you.